everyone. Welcome to today's 60 minute vinyasa flow. Um, we're gonna build some heat on this cold, snowy day. And my name is Joya. You're gonna need a block or a yoga cushion for today's practice. So go ahead and come to a comfortable seat on that block or cushion. And you can keep your feet wherever they're comfortable, cross-legged or one in front of the other. And just take a moment to arrive on the mat. Discard any thoughts about what happened earlier today or what you're gonna do for the rest of the day. You're here right now. Imagine somebody is pulling the top of your head to the sky. You grow out of your seat, draw the tops of your ears back and up. Draw your shoulder blades up to the ears. Inhale. And on the exhale, roll them down and back slowly. Opening the collarbone, broadening the chest. Tuck the ribs towards the spine a little bit and shift the pelvis forward and down. I welcome you to lower your gaze or close your eyes. And then start to shift the breathing to in and out through the nose. Start to count the breathing. Inhale, one, two, Three, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale and expand the belly, two, three. Exhale, let the belly fall, two, three. Inhale, adding the ribs, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, adding the chest and the collarbone, expanding everything forward and to the sides, making your chest cavity huge and inhaling all that fresh air and feeling it sink on the exhale, slowing the breathing down calming the mind and the nervous system. One more time with everything on the count of six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Release, two, three, four, five, We're gonna practice ujjayi breathing, a yogic breath, which carries you throughout class and helps you to match the breathing with the movement. Um, ujjayi breath, let's start with an exercise. So imagine it's a snowy day and maybe you're a child and there's a window pane in front of you and you're gonna exhale on that glass and draw something, maybe a little heart. So, and feel that opening of the throat when you And now try that with your mouth closed. Keeping the cavity between your nose and your mouth open, the back of your throat activating. And on the inhale and the exhale, keep that passageway open, feeling that breathing like a little snoring sensation in the back of your throat, a small, slight constriction in the back of your throat. And when you're ready, remove that block from under your seat and come to some cat cows. Coming into tabletop position, drop the chest through the gateway of the shoulders, raise the tailbone, inhale, look up. Exhale, look to the navel, rounding the spine, dropping the head. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Warming up the lower spine. 
Point the eyes of your elbows forward and wrap those forearms externally out to the sides. And then sit back on the heels, child's pose. Push the hands forward, drop the forearms to the floor, and keeping the nose grazing along the floor, bring the knees back and lower the chest and chin, kind of forward, roll forward onto your belly, and then push up into baby cobra. Inhale, look up, draw the shoulder blades back in together, and then bring the hands by, maybe your ribs, push into the hands, and come back into child's pose. Dropping the head and the nose on the floor, and then drop the forearms to the floor, roll forward, keeping the nose trailing, grazing along the mat, coming onto the belly, pushing up into baby cobra, or full cobra, with the hips coming off the ground, looking up. If you're up, lower back down, and push back into child's pose. Lowering the nose and the forehead on the floor. Bring your hands a little bit closer, push into the hands, then roll forward, and push up, baby cobra or full cobra. And then push back, last time, to child's pose. Tuck the toes, and lift the hips up, downward facing dog. You need to walk your hands forward, Pedal out your feet, first downward facing dog of the day. Wrap those elbows in, shoulder blades back and together. Push the hips up to the sky and back. And feel this triangle shape. Abha Mukha, downward facing dog. Drop, lift the heels up and together and drop the heels over to the right. And then bending the hips back, push your head down a little bit. And push back until you feel this engagement in your left side body. You may need to shorten your hands a little bit towards your face. And bring the head as though you're bringing it towards the knees. Push the left hip up and back. And then bring the hips back to center. Downward facing dog, pedal it out. Lift the heels up and together, drop them to the left. And sink the hips back. Maybe walk the hands in a little bit, keeping those shoulders square to the mat and feeling a deep side body stretch in the right. Maybe drop the right hip back. And then lift the hips back to center. Bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward slowly. Feet come to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to shin, straight spine. Exhale, lower with the nasana. Make sure the feet are hips width distance apart. Toes could be parallel or toes touching heels apart. Grab opposite elbows and start to sway left to right. Option to add a bounce forward and back as you go left and right. Feeling the lower spine start to release, creating some space between each vertebra. Head grows longer towards the floor. Release the hands to the mat. Bring the feet together. Bend the knees and cup the hands under the heels. Keeping those elbows squeezed together, start to pull the shoulder blades back and together, pulling on the heels, and start to straighten your legs as much as feels comfortable. Head comes eventually to rest on the knees and the shins. Pulling, keeping the shoulder blades back and engaged. Then release. And 
then swan the hands all the way up to the side, bend the knees, come all the way up. Inhale, look up. Bring those feet hips with distance apart. Hands in prayer. Inhale and push the hips forward. Push the chest to the sky. Start with the arms by the elbows. Look back and lean back. Press the Vanasana and come back up. Swan to our hands down. With Vanasana, dangle. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight spine. Exhale, plant both hands on the mat. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. Flow through your vinyasa. Option one is Ashtanga Namaskar. Drop the knees, untuck the toes. Chest and chin lower. Tailbone stays up. Roll forward into baby cobra. Lift, look up, inhale. And then push back into child's pose. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips into downward facing dog. Pushing the hips back and up. Shoulder blades back and together. Lift the right foot up. Three like a dog. Open the hip and do some circles. Activating the hip flexors. Option to ground into the left hand and the left foot and flip open, flipping your dog. Press up to the sky, you can kick your left foot out. Wild thing. And then flip back if you're flipped. Three-legged dog, right foot comes up. Knee comes to nose. And plant the hand, plant the foot between the hands. Left back foot plants on the mat at a 45 degree angle. And lift the hands up, warrior one. Hands are parallel. Looking forward, sink into that front knee. Breathe. Open the left arm to the back side of the room. Open the hips. Looking over the right fingertips, sinking into that right front knee. Warrior two. Drop the right forearm to the right thigh. Look under the left arm as it comes up. Inhale and reverse. Left hand comes to left thigh. Look under the right arm, shining the chest to the sky. Keeping that right knee bent, stacking the knee over the ankle. And then reverse, right arm comes to forearm, look under the left. Option to drop the right hand to the right floor. And keep that chest shining up to the sky. And here you can take, if you have your block handy, which I do not, grab your block <laughs> or your cushion and place it on the outside of your right foot. So you have an option to come into half moon pose. You take that block and lift off. The left foot comes up, left hand is up. Left foot is parallel to the floor, chest to shine into the sky. You can look up, you can look forward. And then come back down. Up into warrior two. And then cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot. Kick that right foot back up. Three-legged dog. Down the facing dog. Pedal it out. And then bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Vanasana, dangle. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Hatsu Danasana. Hands in prayer, heart center, Samasthiti. Dadasana, mountain pose. Check the position of your feet. They should be hips with distance apart, with toe touching, heels apart, or toes parallel. Eyes of the elbows point forward. Top of the head is pulling up to the sky. 
And then we're going to inhale the arms up, left side. Exhale all the way down. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, right foot back. Your vinyasa, so you could do knees, chest, chin again, or you could lower down into chaturanga, push up position, no lower than 90 degrees, untuck the toes, and come up, upward facing dog, shoulders back and together, feeling deep engagement in the lower back, and then push wherever you are, meeting in downward facing dog. Pedal it out. If you flip last time, clear your mouth. <laughs> Lift the left foot up. Three-legged dog, open it up. And circle the hips. Opening the hip flexors. And then if you want to flip ground into the right palm, right foot, open up. Push the hips to the sky. You could kick that right foot out while thing. And flip over, left foot comes up, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, plant it between the hands. Drop the right back foot at a 45 degree angle and come up into warrior one. Hands are parallel. Drop those shoulders back so you're not coming forward. Knee square the front of the chest to the front of the mat. Sink into that front knee. And then open the hips and the arms, warrior two. Look over the left front fingertips. Sinking a little deeper into that front knee, stacking the knee directly over the ankle. And then lower the left forearm to the left thigh, looking under the right arm. Shine that chest to the sky. Breathe. Inhale, reverse. Right hand comes to right thigh. Look under the left arm. Shine the chest to the sky. Switch, side angle. Option to drop that left arm down to the mat. Shining the chest to the sky. Reverse. If you came into half moon on the other side, grab your block, position it on the outside of your left foot. And reverse to side angle one more time. You could drop the left hand. Lifting that back foot up and off the ground. You could flex the back foot. You could look up. Half moon pose. All right, Vajrasana. And then lower that foot back. Warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot. Move that box up. Kick that left foot back and up. Three like a dog. Lower, down the facing dog. Pedal it out. Bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Ground into the heels. Push the hips forward. Stretch those arms up on the inhale. Arms are by the ears. Push the chest forward, hips forward, lean back. And then lower all the way. Halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back. Lower through your vinyasa. So knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Full cobra, upward facing dog. And lean and down, facing dog. Right foot comes up. Right knee to right tricep, shift the weight over the wrist. Hold here. And you're not holding yourself up by the knee on the tricep. Kick up. Right knee to left tricep, crossing over. Hold. 
and kick up. Right knee to nose, hold. Plant it between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Hands come to prayer heart center. Twist, hooking the left elbow over the right knee. Then push up, twisting open. Hands at heart center. Don't forget to breathe. And then lower the hands. Start to squish that left knee back. And then straighten that front knee. Drop the head towards the knee. Have fun, Manasana. If you would like to try a full split, you can start to push the left knee back. Right heel forward. Come up so your hands are tented on the mat. You could use blocks. And just go as far as feel safe. You could bring your hands to your hips to square them to the front of the mat. Feel a deep opening. If you're in full splits, quasi motor your way back to half splits. If you're in Hanumanasana half split, you're going to shift back into that front leg, tuck the left back toe, lift, and then plant that back foot at a 45 degree angle on the mat, come up into warrior two, looking over the right fingertips. Straighten that right knee, and then revolve the arms, coming into Trikonasana, Lowering right foot, right hand comes to right ankle or to the mat or between the right big toe and the second toe. But don't come down if it causes you to sink. So push those hips forward. It's better to stay a little bit up if you can get this two dimensional shape as though you're flat against the wall. Lifting that left arm up, right hand down. Hips push forward, looking up, Trikonasana. Breathe. And then lower the hands to frame the right foot. Kick the right foot back and up, three-legged dog. Down your facing dog. Pedal it out. Bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, Tanasana. Inhale, hands come up all the way. Hands to prayer, Samastiti. Hands to Dasana, Mountain Pose. So we're going to do the left side. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, lower all the way, Tanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot steps back, right foot steps back. Lower through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Left foot comes up, three-legged dog. Left knee to left tricep, shifting the weight over the wrists. Hold here, using your arms to hold you up. Shoulders tucked back. Kick that left foot back and up. Left knee to right tricep. Left foot up. Left knee to nose, hold. And plant it between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Hands to prayer heart center. Twist up. Try to get those hands right at the center of your chest. Pushing that right elbow against the left knee. Looking up. Drop the hands to frame the front foot. And then straighten that front knee, sinking the right foot back. Drop the head to the knee, towards the knee rather. Kick 
Try to keep those hips square to the front of the mat. Not for anyone else in there. If you'd like to try a fall, you can bring that right knee back, dragging along the mat, pushing that left heel forward. Coming up, bunch of tensor fingertips. Keep those hips square to the front. That might mean you can't come down as, as much. And you might be more flexible on one side than the other. I think I'm like five inches higher on this side. And if you're in full splits, come back into half. Sink into that front knee. Tuck the back toe. Plant the back foot at a 45 degree angle and come up into warrior two. Looking over the left fingertips. Heads are open to the side of the room. Straighten that front knee. Shift the right hip back. Rotate the arms and lower as so though you're flat against the wall. Push those hips forward. Look up or look at the wall in front of you. Keeping this long line between your fingertips, left fingertips and right. Trikonasana, triangle pose. And then lower the hands to frame the front. Kick that foot back and up. And then lower down our facing dog. Pedal it up. Bend the knees, lift the heels, walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower the nasana. Inhale, all the way up. Hatsvajanasana. Samazuti, hands in prayer, heart center. Dadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, hands all the way up. Lower. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Step or float back. Float the Urvingasa. Keeping the eyes of the elbows pointed forward, elbows wrapped in, downward facing dog. Right foot kicks up. Right knee to right tricep. Right foot kicks up. Right foot to left tricep. Right knee to right left tricep. Kick that right foot out. Open up or holding open. And left hand down, right foot kicks up, three-legged dog. Knee to nose. Plant it between the hands. Lower that back knee, untuck the toe. Hands to prayer and lift. Slide back bend. Sides of the arms by the ears. And then lower the hands to frame the foot, untuck the the back toe, lift the knee. Plant the back foot, come up into warrior two. And then right arm to right back, look under the left arm. Right hand comes down. An option to hold here, if you'd like to try to balance. Well, first let's try a, a bind. So take that right hand under and behind you. Left hand comes down. Grab that left hand interlacing the fingers or just grabbing the hands. Pull that left shoulder blade back. Draw the belly into the spine. Maybe look up. Sink into that right front knee. You could stay here or if you'd like to try balance. Step that right foot forward. Maybe in two steps to meet the left. Bend into those knees, look forward and start to lift, ground into the left foot. Find your drishti on the wall, standing tall. And when you have your balance, kick that right foot out, bird of paradise. Bring that left shoulder blade back. 
Focusing on that drishti, focal point, to keep you balanced and stable. And then lower that right foot. Coming out the same way you came in, step the left foot back. Right arm lowers, left arm up. Warrior two. Drop the hands to frame the front foot. Take that right foot back and up. Lower, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward. Lift up. Lower, exhale. Inhale all the way up. Samasiddhi, hands in prayer right center. Tadasana. Left side, last of our standing series. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale all the way down, Badasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant. Step or float back. Keeping those elbows wrapped in, shoulder blades back. Chaturanga or Spanda Namaskar, your choice of vinyasa. Meeting a downward facing dog. Left foot kicks back and up. Left knee to left tricep. Left foot up. Left knee to right tricep. Option to kick it out and lift the right arm up, revolve and open. Reach to the sky, reaching out of that left arm. Breathe and lower. Left foot kicks back and up. Left knee to nose. Plant it between the hands. Drop that back knee, untuck the toe. Hands to prayer heart center. And lift up. Leaning back, sides of the arms by the elbows. You could come out of the front hip a little bit if that's easier. And lower the hands. Untuck the back toe. Plant the back foot on the 45 degree angle on the mat. Come up into warrior two. Stack that knee over the left ankle. Looking over the left fingertips. Drop the left forearm to the left thigh, look under the right arm. Breathe here. Drop that left hand to the floor. Shine the chest to the sky. You can hold here, option to bind, taking the left arm under your thigh, grabbing it with your right hand, and shining the chest to the sky, drawing that shoulder blade back in space, sinking into the left front knee, Engaging the belly to the core. I've been saying half bind, this is a full bind, sorry. <laughs> and if you'd like to try Bird of Paradise, the feet meet, ground the right foot, lift up, find a focal point, extend that left foot, open the right arm, right shoulder blade, Bird of Paradise. Lower the left foot to meet the right. Step the right foot back. Back into warrior two. Look over the left fingertips. And cartwheel the hands down to frame the left foot. Kick that left foot back and up. Down to meet the right. Pedal it out. And sink knees down into a wide child's pose. Let's take a couple cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling, sighing it out through the mouth. Inhale. One more. Plant the hands, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Push those hips back, bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, walk forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, Tanasana. Inhale all the way up. And this time open to the long edge of your mat, right foot steps out, hands open wide. Five pointed star. Push that chest forward. Breathe. Feeling 
powerful, feeling energetic from all that heat we just built. You know, keeping that heat, we're gonna tone it down, warm down, bring the hands to the hips, point the toes in, touch that booty out to the back, look forward, straight spine, lower halfway. And then grab onto the outsides of the feet. You might need to shorten your stance. Lower the head, relax the neck. Look at the back wall. Cup those heels. You might need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. And then pull on the heels, bring your head down. Try to keep that space between your shoulder blades. Maybe straighten the knees as much as you can. Elbows come out to the sides. Pulling, feeling a deep opening in the back of your legs. You could experiment with maybe windshield wipering your feet open a little bit more if that feels safe. Pull on those heels one more time and then release the heels. Hands come to under the face. Walk the palms towards the back of the room. And feel your head grow even closer to the mat. Eventually, head comes onto the mat. Might take a shift of the weight forward. And then walk the hands out in front of you. Windshield wipe the feet in, shorten the stance a little bit. Head is still looking down, relaxed. Take that right hand under the left arm, reach across and grab the left ankle. And pull on that, looking under your left armpit at the ceiling. Really pulling that elbow down. Maybe feeling a deep opening in the right shoulder. Release, hand comes to meet the left. Inhale, left hand comes to right ankle. Pull down on that ankle. Look up under the right armpit. Shining the chest to the sky. Breathe. And then release that left hand to meet the right. Walk the hands in. Hands come to hips. And start to look forward and straighten the spine, coming up slowly, slowly, slowly. Hinging up from the waist. And then cartwheel the hands down to frame the right foot. And then bring the right foot back. Coming up onto the knees. So we're gonna do a couple camel poses, some deep back bends, heart openers. Bring your hands to your lower back, fingertips pointed down. Broaden the collarbone and draw those elbows back. Start to look up, inhale. And pushing the chest and the hips forward, look back, lean back. Look at the back wall. If this is as far as you can go, that's absolutely fine. If you feel like going further, drop the right hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel. Keeping those hips pushed forward. Breathe. Chest pushing up to the sky. Deepest back bend of our practice. Releasing a lot of emotion. And then to release, bring the hands to the lower back and come up vertebra by vertebra, head comes up last. Sink the heels back, hips onto the heels. Cup the heels, so you're sitting on the hands, cupping the heels. And then grow your spine long, tuck the chin. And you're not gonna move your neck side to side in this position to avoid neck injury but curl the spine down so that your head places on the mat directly in front of your knees and lift the hips up. The crown of the head is on the floor. Walk the knees forward to touch your head and then pull on the ankles. Ankles are together. Pull the shoulder blades back and lift the hips. Sasangasana. A deep counter pose to camel, creating deep space between each vertebra. And then 
release the hips to the heels. I'm going to try camel one more time. If it was too much for you, option to stay in child's pose here. Otherwise, come back up onto the knees. Knees or hips width distance apart. Hands point down on the lower back. Inhale, push the hips forward. Chest forward, look back. Lean back. Maybe drop the right hand to the right hand, heel. Left hand to left heel. Push the hips forward. Chest to the sky. Notice if you're coming down any deeper than the first iteration. And then hands come to lower back. Roll up slowly. Sit the hips back on the heels. Cuff the heels, sitting on the hands. Grow that spine long, head comes up to the sky, double chin, and roll down vertebra by vertebra. Head comes to the mat, lift the hips. Walk the knees in, and pull on the heels. Pull the shoulder blades back, engage the belly to the core. Feel the cervical spine, one through seven, opening up. And lower the heels, hips to the heels, coming up to seated. Sit between the feet if it's available to you. If not, you can stay seated on the heels. And then grow the chest forward and up, look up, look back. Walk back. So you could stay here and lean back, or if it's available to you, you can use your elbows to lever yourself down so that you're lying down on your back. Drop the shoulder blades down, and bring your neck long on the mat. Double chin. Maybe the hands are by the sides, palms up, receiving energy. Supine saddle. Trying to keep those knees a little bit close together. Deep opening in the quads. You could grab opposite elbows overhead if that's available to you. And then when you're ready to come out, use those elbows as levers. And coming back up. Swing those legs in front of you. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. And you could cup onto those toes. They have really cold toes. And then push your chest forward, hips forward. And with that straight spine, start to lower down. Feet can be as far or as close to the groin as feels comfortable. And you could lean forward and hunch forward or eventually your head comes to rest on the mat, maybe elbows, forearms on the mat. Okay, give yourself a little foot rub, the bottoms of your feet. Thanking them for supporting your practice. <laughs> And then push your face down towards the floor and forward. And look up, coming up, straight spine. Take that right foot to the left thigh. And if it's available to you, gently bring that left foot onto the left, the right thigh in lotus position. If this isn't available to you, you can bring your feet back, soles touching. Siddha Bhattapanasana, or you could have your feet cross-legged. And lower, lever it on the elbows. Grab opposite elbows above, tuck the shoulder blades down and under. And breathe. This can be a lot if you're in full lotus. So feel free to change your legs into Sukta Baba Konasana, soles of the feet touching. And just breathe. 
anything feels stiff or uncomfortable, imagine that you're sending the breath there. And then use the elbows to lever out. Feet come in front of you. And bend the knees a little bit. Inhale, the arms come up parallel to each other. Push the chest forward, straight spine, then lower with that straight spine, forward, forward, grab onto the outsides of your feet, and then gradually push those feet forward. As much as feels good. And then pull, head lowers the knees, head relaxing, looking at the navel. Elbows come out to the sides, keeping those feet flexed. Engage the belly to the spine. Vajimottanasana. Eventually the head comes to rest on the knees. And then we roll up vertebra by vertebra. Head comes up, rest. Open the left leg out to the long edge of the mat. Inhale the hands up. Turn to the right foot, kick that right heel out, bend the knee, and then lower to grab onto that right foot, head touches the knee. Keeping those elbows, sorry, the shoulders square to the mat, so maybe drop the left shoulder blade in. Maybe push that right heel out. Eventually the head comes to touch the knee in the straight leg. You could bring those elbows down to the sides of the knee, pulling on the outsides of the foot for an even, even deeper engagement. Breathe, Janna Sarsasana. And then inhale, hands come up, turn to the left. Bend that knee as much as you need to to lower the straight spine and grab onto the outsides of that left foot. Pushing that left heel forward as much as you can, flexing. Lower the head to look at the navel. Drop the right shoulder in to square the torso to the floor. Maybe the elbows come in to the sides of the leg, flexing that left foot. Maybe the head comes to the knee. And then lift up, hands in front of you, interlace the fingers, look down to the navel, release the head, hunching forward, and then coming back to neutral, bring the hands behind you, feet come to cross legged. Interlace the hands behind the stretch, the hands back and away. Look up, straight spine, and then lower. Slowly, head comes to touch the mat. And draw those hands back and up. And deep opening in the clavicle, scapula. Lowering those hands. Bring the feet clear from on the mat in front of you, knees are up. And you're going to lower, planting both hands on the left mat and drop down, touch your nose to the floor. Knees can come down a little bit towards the floor. And breathe. Push up and twist over to the right, planting the hands on the mat. Touch that nose to the mat. This doesn't have to be elegant or controlled. It's just to release the lower spine. Right. And left last time. And then roll onto the belly. Plant the hands by the chest. And inhale, look up. 
Lift the hands to hover, feet hover. On each inhale, lift them both up higher. One more, inhale. And lower one cheek to the mat. Keep breathe. Plant the hands by the chest. Inhale, lift up. Option to do the same or grab the feet behind you and push the knees back and up. Knees are still a little bit together. Draw the shoulder blades back. On each inhale, lift up. Wherever you are, one more time, inhale. And lower all the way down, other cheek to the mat. Resting, breathing. Now we're going to do locust pose, something good for carpal tunnel syndrome. So lying with your chin on the mat, take your hands and externally rotate so that your palm is touching the mat, thumbs are pointing outwards. And then bring them in that same position under your body. So it's this really awkward thing where your elbows are touching your belly or your ribs like a volleyball serve. And then inhale, lift the right foot up. Don't forget to breathe, keeping those arms close together. And lower. Maybe bring those arms a little bit closer in. Inhale, lift, foot comes up, point the toe. Lift it up a little bit higher and lower. Get those hands ready. Inhale and both feet come up. So you don't have to come up very far. And lower. And then bring those hands out. Maybe give them a little shake, bring them back to life. Lower our cheek to the mat and relax. Bring the right arm out perpendicular to the body. Left hand tense by the face, so the left elbow's up. Bring the left foot up and across and plant the left foot on the floor. So you're twisting open over your right shoulder. Left hand is finger, fingertips returned by the face. Option to walk the left fingertips overhead for a deep shoulder opener and side body stretch. Option to bring the right foot planting on the floor, matching the left knee is up. And breathe. Remembering your jai breathing, opening up that passage between the nose and the mouth. And unwind, lower the other cheek on the mat. And then the left arm comes out perpendicular to the body, right hand swing, fingertips tense by the face. Lift the right foot up and twist open over the left shoulder, plant the right foot on the floor. Maybe walk the right fingertips forward, maybe plant the left foot and left knee comes up too. Deep shoulder opener. And then lower down onto your belly. Push into the palms, back into child's pose. Witness any changes in your spine, bringing your knees wide, head and nose on the floor, forearms relaxed. Curl into a little ball and roll 
palm to your side. And then on roll into Shavasana. Arms overhead, deep, long stretch, stretching the feet as far away from the fingertips as you can. Bring your fingertips, fingertips in prayer. Inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Feet together, hands together. And keeping the hips exactly where they are, bring the feet and the hands over to the right. Making this curved, arched banana shape. Deep side body opener. And then the feet come back to center. Relax a little bit, maybe shake it out. And then hands press in prayer, feet together, stretch, inhale. Keep the hips where they are, move the feet and the hands to the left. Banana asana. And then come back to center. Relax into whatever shape feels good for Shavasana. Maybe bring the feet wide. Neck long, tucking the pelvis down a little bit. And just stay here in stillness for a few minutes. If you find that your mind is wandering, a meditation technique that can help you center yourself is that any time a distracting thought comes into your mind, you can imagine it in a little thought bubble, like in a cartoon. And that thought comes into your mind, you give it a name, you don't indulge in it, you don't start to think about it, just give it a name, like if that's a work thought or a childcare thought or a financial thought, and just let that bubble float away. Or pop the bubble. Just let it go. Don't indulge. Come back to the moment. Centering your breathing on the inhale, on the exhale. Maybe visualize the spot with your eyes closed that's just above your nose, the bridge of your nose, or just above the tip of your nose. Look at that spot with your eyes closed as you inhale and exhale. Finding gratitude for this rare moment of stillness.
onto your fingertips and toes, giving them a wiggle. Give your wrists and ankles a rotation. And when you're ready, turn over onto the right, gently into fetal position. Taking a few breaths here. And push into the left palm with the least effort as possible, bring yourself up to a seat. We'll close all together with one ohm. So inhale to synchronize, sighing out through the mouth, inhale. Inhale for ohm. Oh. 